Welcome to Hands-On History with the Bulkley Valley Museum. Today we will be teaching you how to make your own fossil. Fossils are the preserved remains or traces of an organism that has died. The process by which a fossil is formed is called fossilization. It is very rare for living things to become fossilized. Usually, after an organism dies, their bodies decay and leave no trace behind. However, under certain conditions, a fossil can form over millions of years. Most fossils are a casted mold type. After an animal dies, the soft parts of its body decompose and leave behind the hard parts, like the skeleton. The skeleton is pressed deep into the earth as sediment like mud and sand cover it. Over many millions of years, layers of soft sediment are pressed into hard rock. Groundwater slowly washes the bones away, leaving open spaces in the exact shape of the bones. These molds are filled by tiny pieces of rock flowing in groundwater. Over time, the entire skeleton mold becomes solid rock. Here at the Bulkley Valley Museum, we have a collection of fossils that are millions of years old. Some of our fossils are of creatures called ammonoids. Ammonoids were marine animals that had a coiled shell. While there are some modern sea creatures that look very similar to ammonoids, they disappeared in the same extinction event that wiped out the dinosaurs over 66 million years ago. We also have fossils in our collection from the Driftwood Creek fossil beds. Located just a few minutes outside of Smithers, the Driftwood Creek fossil beds are famous for fossils of the earliest known species of salmon, Eosamo driftwoodensis. Today we're going to show you how to make a fossil at home. You can either purchase the supplies you need or stop by the Bookley Valley Museum between 12 p.m. and 4 p.m. Monday to Friday to pick up your free fossil making kit. To make your fossil you will need a paper cup, modeling clay, plaster of Paris, water, a stir stick, and a small plastic toy of your choice, such as a bug or a dinosaur. First, take your modeling clay and make a round ball. The ball should be around 15 millimeters thick. Next, press the clay firmly into the bottom of the cup and use your fingers to smooth it out so that it has a nice, flat surface. Next, press your organism firmly into the clay. The deeper you can make your impression into the clay, the better your fossil will be. After you have created your impression, remove the toy. Add five heaping scoops of the plaster of Paris. Next, slowly add water a bit at a time to make your plaster into a paste. You want the paste to have a thick but spreadable texture like pudding. If it is too wet or too dry, your fossil will crumble and not set properly. This stage is just like the sediment that covers the bones of the creature. After mixing your plaster, set your fossil aside for at least six hours. It would be best to let it sit overnight so that it can dry completely. Just like real fossils, yours will take time to form, but instead of a few million years, a few hours is all yours will need. After your fossil has sat for several hours, you can carefully tear away the cup and reveal your fossil. Your clay can be brushed off and remolded. If you are using the museum kit, we have given you enough plaster to make two fossils, just in case the first one doesn't quite turn out. Remember to be careful when handling your plaster of Paris, as it can cause eye, skin, nose, and throat irritation. Make sure to keep it away from your eyes and work in a well-ventilated area under adult supervision.